All right, so I put on ZS. I put some ZSR on my head last night, and then took a shower, so I got all of the zero shine off. And I didn't do anything to it. This is the morning now, um, so it's been like 12 hours or something since I did that. And so this is how shiny my head is without anything on it. Um, and so, you know, th there's no oil or anything on this. I can show you like dab paper on there. Nothing's nothing's coming off. I can, I'll even rub it, because I heard people, or someone wrote a comment saying that, like, my head's not actually this matte, I have a bunch of hair there. This is how shiny it naturally is without any, um, anything on it. I know there's no extra oil on here, there's not even lotion on here. I rub this dry towel all over my head. It's all just completely dry. This is just from surface shine. This is not, uh, shine caused by oil. You know, a lot of people talk about, I've seen online, people talk about, um, shininess is caused by just, oil sitting on the skin, but that's only one potential cause. A lot of skin is just hard and flat and therefore shiny. So even without an oily head with just a flat shiny head like a glass surface, Zero Shine will still get rid of it. So now the glare that's coming from here is not there. Stuff from this other room is not there. Nothing's changed other than I added zero shine on my head. And as I always do, my nose is shiny too. I start to notice I put a little on my nose. It gets rid of that too. And this is the same way, that the, the SPF version works the same way. Um, so any hairless parts of skin that you want to make not shiny, um, especially out in the you know, the sun, you use the SP SPF version as well, and this is how this is how well it works. It stays this way. And after about, you know, 10, 15 minutes, you can no longer, like, move it around like I am now. It will just be locked in place. It won't be, like, tacky to the touch anymore. It'll be kind of just, like, it won't come off on your hands.